Hello and welcome to another Oblivion Plays video where today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'll be using Tower Simulator, uh, Tower exclamation mark, 2011 uh, simulator by Feel There. Um, it's uh, pretty fun um, for those of you who are interested in uh, doing a little bit of practice for your um, ATC. I don't know if, it, if it's directly applicable to um, something like VATSIM, but it just it helps you manage uh, aircraft and obviously multitasking and doing lots of things at once. But um, for that reason, it's, it's relatively fun. Um, not sure if it'll be for all of you guys who watch my channel, but uh, I thought I'd do a short series, uh, maybe do a few videos, see how it goes. Uh, if you like it, I'll do some more. If you don't, then I won't. Um, but I downloaded some, uh, some add-ons for this including the real traffic add-on and the real colour add-on for Gatwick and Gatwick Airport itself. Um, the the uh, the programme comes with a number of airports, uh, Ga uh, not, not, not Gatwick, uh, Los Angeles, Miami and St Thomas. Um, St Thomas being very quiet, just a single strip in the Caribbean. Uh, Miami um, being three, no, uh, one, two, three, four runways, um, but different orientations. So the um, one of the runways you don't really use. Um, 12 and, and yeah runway 12 and 30 you don't really use and well, unless you want to, to use it um and then los angeles and los angeles is by far the, the most busy and challenging uh, airport but we'll start with gatwick as uh, obviously that's uh, the nearest to home i haven't checked in a while actually there might be some more uh, uk airports but uh, we'll use gatwick today using uh, 26 right to 26 left obviously if you, those of you who know um gatwick well you know that zero eight left and two six right isn't actually used in real life uh, it's more of a, a service slash emergency runway because it is significantly shorter um but uh, but that's what we'll use it anyway uh, it makes it a little bit, little bit more challenging a little bit more fun um some of the larger aircraft at gatwick can't can't take off from it um so we'll just use that for the smaller aircraft we'll set the time to zero nine because um because we're using the real traffic if you set it to the default midnight um it's very quiet now you can set it to cloudy, um, but I find it quite distracting having the clouds because they're, they're basically it's almost because you you have an aerial view, um, the clouds kind of obstruct what you can see. So we'll clear, we'll set it to clear, um, which I think will be just a little bit more interesting, and uh, we'll get on in and see how it goes. So what tends to happen is uh, we get an influx of requests to taxi and, and land, but that kind of settles down after a while. Virgin 37, taxi to runway 26 left via November. Taxi to runway 26 left via November. So it uses uh, the Windows voice recognition service. Tower. Emirates 1 2 ready to taxi. Uh, you can't actually see it, but there's the Virgin and there's the Emirates. So we'll let the Virgin taxi and then we'll clear the Emirates to taxi to 26 left as well. Because that's a 777 and Tower. obviously the 747, so they need to be taking off from uh, 26 taxi. left. Tower, Shamrock 232 with you runway 26 right. Um, what you also get is a ground radar, um, which I've moved off the screen um, just because it saves some space. And you also get an air, air radar. Um, okay, so let's uh, get these British Airways. We'll, we'll, we'll send the British Airways to 26 to two six right. Speedbird 2694, taxi to runway 26 right via Quebec Juliet. Taxi to runway 26 right via Quebec Juliet, Speedbird 2694. Speedbird, two, Speedbird 29006, taxi to runway 26 right via Quebec Juliet. Taxi to runway 26 uh, you just right need to do a bit of ground Quebec management Juliet, to make Speedbird sure um, the aircraft six. don't collide. So I tend to have the aircraft taxiing to the runway going down um, a few a set um, taxiway. And then the aircraft coming off the runway, um, going down another taxiway, and just means that they're unlikely to collide. Emirates 1 2, taxi to runway 26 left via November. Taxi to runway 26 left via November, Emirates 1 2. Shamrock 232, clear to land. Clear to land, Shamrock 232. You've got to remember their, uh, their call signs because some of them are quite unusual. There is the there is time acceleration if um, you're at some of the quieter airports such as St Thomas, or if there's a bit of a quiet patch um, for whatever reason, such as if you're late at night. 
Um, but I don't, I don't tend to use it because um, at Gatwick and some of the other airports that I go at, uh, it tends to be quite busy, so there's things going on all the time. So you can zoom quite close in, and because I've got the uh, the real traffic and the real add-ons deliveries are um, obviously consistent with the, the real life, so you can just, see, just about see the Emirates on the side there. And then the British Airways, you can just about see the, the tailplane. So hopefully this British Airways will come around this way. If you just tell them to go via uh, Quebec, they stop here. Uh, and then obviously that's awkward because then they've got to go all the way up, turn around and then go all the way back down again. Uh, and if you've got inbound aircraft, that's not ideal. So it's quite simplified, obviously it's not, um, it hasn't got the additional elements to, to ATC such as uh, organising clearance um, and stuff like that, but uh, it's it's quite fun. I mean, I think if, it, if they had that, it would, it would get too elaborate because you're, you're multitasking on too many things at once. Virgin 3.7 cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Virgin 3.7. So you basically, do, yeah, you're just taking the role of the, um, the ground control and the tower. You've got to be careful spacing the aircraft on takeoff as well. Uh, otherwise they do collide. So we'll let this Virgin go off first um, and then we'll get that British Airways. We won't line them up just yet just because uh, this Shamrock is coming in so we want to make sure we have time for the British Airways to take off. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll move the uh, radar at the top left just so you can see that. The great ground radar is not so important as you can see what's going on on the screen. So the Shamrocks is coming into about five uh, five miles out. Now when I was doing it, just because I haven't played this in a while, I was um, just reminding myself on how to how to do everything. And this Virgin, uh, it, it kind of overruns the runway. Just we'll see if it does it this time. Tower, Europa one zero one four, ready to taxi. Yeah, looks like he's going to do it again. So he only takes off about here. <laughs> there we go. Speedbird 2694, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Speedbird 2694. Alright, what was that? Air, Air, Air Europa. Air Europa 1014, taxi to runway 26 right. Hold short of runway 26 oh, right, no, Emirates 12. Right. Emirates 12, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Emirates 12. Air Europa 1014, taxi to runway 26 right. Air Europa 1014, taxi to runway 26 right. Taxi to runway 26 right, Europa 1014. Yeah, as with um, many products that use uh, voice recognition, it's not always the best. Um, it's not as good as FS to crew. I've noticed FS to crew is um, a lot better at uh, picking stuff up. With a little bit of persistence, you can get away with it. Some core signs just you, they cannot be picked up at all. I don't, I don't know why. I oh, hope we've got enough spacing here. Virgin 37, contact departure. Roger. Yeah, I might have uh, got that Emirates up a little bit too early. Speedbird 2694, contact departure. Roger. Good luck. Let's see what happens. So here's the, uh, the Shamrock. Speedbird 2906, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Speedbird 2906. Emirates turn left, heading 280. 
Emirates 1 2, turn left heading 280. Turn left heading 280, Emirates 1 2. Just make sure they don't collide. Actually, you can turn off the um, visual heading and then we can see them turning. Emirates 1 2, contact departure. Roger, goodbye. Shamrock 232, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Shamrock I've, I've not tried um, getting them to taxi to a specific gate, um, but you just tend to just get them to taxi to terminal. But you do need to keep an, keep an eye on them because you're not sure where they're going. I haven't uh, figured out. There might be actually a way of working out which gate they, they need to go to, but um, yeah, I just tend to, to send them to terminal. Speedbird 298, sorry. Speedbird 2906, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Speedbird 2906. Uh, Europa 1014, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Europa 1014. So yeah, you do tend to go through quiet patches. Oh, there's nothing really coming in, but then I'll probably get bombarded with stuff any minute now. There's a little bit more space and then we'll get this Air Europa up. I think he's an Embraer, yeah, Embraer 190. Speedbird 2906, contact departure. Roger, goodbye. Air Europa 1014, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for take oh, there's our Emirates. <laughs> I hope he's not going to just do circles. <laughs> Six three ready to taxi. A Europa one zero one four contact departure. Roger, goodbye. Right, so where's this uh, Ryanair? It runs all the way over here. Somewhere. Tower. I think it's like that. Six zero three ready to taxi. Ryanair 5563, taxi to runway 26 left. Taxi to runway 26 left, Ryanair 5563. Tower, speed for 2688, ready to taxi. Tower, speed for 2152 with you, runway 26 left. What is that speedbird? Speedbird 2688, taxi to runway 26 right via Quebec, Juliet. Tower, speed for 2159, are ready to taxi. Taxi to runway 26 right by a Quebec Juliet speed for 2688. So that is 777. Speedbird 2159, taxi to runway 26 left via Papa November. Negative. Speedbird 2159er. It's up a mysterious additional two letters. Speedbird 2159, taxi to runway 26 left via Papa November. Taxi to runway 26 left via Papa November, Speedbird 2159er. Don't know what this call, I forgot what this call sign was. So you can just type it in. Taxi to runway 26 left, the line 603. Speedbird 2152, clear to land. Clear to land, Speedbird 2152. Ryanair 5563, clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Ryanair 5563. Tower, easy 5376 with you, runway 26 left. There's no possible collisions at the moment. Speedbird 
EZ5376 clear to land. Clear to land, EZ5376. So I think I'll end episode one there. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like and share buttons. If you'd like to watch more, then please do subscribe. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.